the, the fennel in there. It gives it a little bit of that crunch. Um, the bean works really well. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be making a vegan gluten-free sausage. Uh, this is going to be a really simple recipe to make. With that in mind, I'm going to show you the ingredients that I'm using today. Okay, so the ingredients I'm going to be using today are some white beans. Then I have tomato paste, water, I have some soy sauce or tamari sauce, whichever one you have, whichever one you want to use. I have some white onion, fennel seed, cumin, onion powder, smoked paprika, Italian seasoning, garlic powder, just a little bit of cayenne pepper, salt. I have some oatmeal or oats, walnuts, and some hemp seed. So those are the ingredients I have. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by adding the onion to the food processor. Now I've had success in the past with just taking the onion, adding it in there without chopping it up. So I'm going to do that again. Once that onion is done, I'm going to add in all of these ingredients and see what happens. All right, so the onion is chopped up. If I'm not quite satisfied with the onion, I can always, uh, you know, take out some of the large pieces because there are a few large pieces in here. However, I'm not gonna be concerned about it. I'm gonna add in the rest of the ingredients and mix it up. Just got the walnuts, the hemp seed, got these oats, some salt, got that cayenne pepper, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, got that tamari, the fennel seed, the smoked paprika, onion powder, cumin, tomato paste, you got the beans, and we got some water, and let's mix this up. So we have our ground sausage here and it's looking pretty good. I mean, at this point we could do a lot of different things. We could add something to make this into a bit more of a sausage crumble. Uh, maybe something like some tofu to keep it gluten free. If we didn't, if we didn't really care whether or not it was gluten free, uh, we could add some vital wheat gluten that would make it uh, crumble up a little bit more. Um, we could really just kind of dry it up a little bit by adding some, maybe some nutritional yeast and that would make a sausage crumble. And uh, you know, we could play around with that, um, but we're gonna make some sausage links. So now I'm gonna make this super simple. I'm not going to be encasing them. So I'm just gonna roll these up in some foil and I'm gonna steam them. Now, one thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the aluminum foil and put a little bit of oil down on the foil. What that's gonna do is it's just gonna aid in preventing the sausage from sticking to the foil. Here we have our first sausage link. My first call out when it comes to making these sausage links is when you're about to use the mixture, if you find that it's 
too soft, you can't really work it, you can't really uh, shape the mixture, um, you can always add a little bit more of the oats. That's gonna, that's gonna make it um, formulate up a little bit more. It's gonna soak up some of those wet ingredients and make it so you can shape the sausage. Uh, the other thing is, is that when I added it to the aluminum foil, I made sure that I, I pressed the foil pretty tightly because I want to make sure that I keep the sausage in its shape um, and it doesn't move around much so that way it just cooks and incorporates well together. So I'm going to go ahead and make some more of these sausage links and then I'm going to start steaming them up. Okay, so the sausage is in there. Um, I'm gonna wait for it to fully steam up and then start the clock on there, but they're gonna need to steam uh, for about 30, 35 minutes or so, uh, and then they will be done to that part of the process. I will say that while this was uh, heating up to get the steam ready, I did put them in the freezer just to help kind of bind that mixture together in that foil. We wanna make sure that we have a delicious sausage link um, that has the integrity uh, when we unwrap it that it will be fully cooked and we can just you know put it over some some oil on a skillet and, and finish it off All right, and so there you go. You can see the sausage links. Um, now I'm going to just go ahead and add them to the freezer, let them cool down a little bit, and then I will give them a quick saute to finish off the cooking process. So basically these sausages steamed up, I removed them from the foil and I started to heat up a skillet and I added the sausage to the freezer to cool. Uh, by adding them to the freezer to cool, um, that just kind of uh, allowed things to bind up, uh, the sausage to bind up and kind of solidify a little bit more. And then I'm just bringing it over to a hot skillet, uh, getting it nice and hot, sauteing it a bit, uh, getting that skin nice and browned. Uh, because realistically, when you go to the store and you buy some sausage, you already have the meat elements and everything combined. So getting it through the steaming process was that. When you get the sausage home, that's when you cook it up however you're cooking it, whether you're baking it, sauteing it, uh, whatever. And so now this is how we're cooking the sausage off. So the sausage is finished. Let's try it out. That's good, it's tasty. It doesn't taste like pork sausage, but that's okay. I mean, being vegan, you don't always want it to taste exactly like the real thing. You want to eat it and feel like you're having what you're having, right? Like this is supposed to be sausage. It tastes like sausage. It's great, it's fantastic. This is like the like a great breakfast sausage. You know, I can wake up in the morning. I can have this with some toast, some beans, uh, some eggs. Um, and of course, when I say eggs, I mean vegan egg or some tofu eggs. Uh, either way, this is fantastic. I could put it in, uh, you know, I could even put this in like a burrito or, or something like that. Um, this is great. Uh, I definitely like this. I will definitely make this again, um, especially for it being gluten-free. That's the added bonus and benefit to this. Um, I would say the texture is a little bit off from from being a like a like a, a real meat sausage, um, but I'm okay with that. Uh, I think that the other ingredients are great. The the fennel in there it gives it a little bit of that crunch. 
Um, the bean works really well, um, not only holding it together, but just adding in flavor. Uh, so I think the elements all in all are good. And you can see that it did firm up enough um, and so that it really worked out. Um, just between the bean, uh, I think, as we kind of pull it apart here, um, yeah, it's, it's good. Uh, when you look at it, it looks almost like it has uh, that kind of crumbly sausage um, to it. Um, so this is really neat. Um, this is good. Uh, I think that the key on this is definitely the um, sauteing up a little bit after you um, cool it down in the freezer just because um, it's going to hold well together. Uh, so lots of great flavor here. I uh, definitely recommend this for all of you and I'm going to be making some more great recipes because um, I'm your friend with food benefits and I'll see you again real soon.